Hey everyone, it's the Yankee in Siberia telling you the truth about life in Russia. This week, on April 28th, here in Russia, Easter is being celebrated. For those of you in America and probably other parts of the world, you're probably thinking, but Easter was last Sunday. Why are they only celebrating it now in Russia? Well, here, the Russian Orthodox Church uses the old Julian calendar, so that's why Easter falls on a different date here in Russia. Besides being celebrated on a different date, how it is celebrated is also completely different. Growing up in America, the first thing I would always do every Easter morning would be to find my Easter basket full of chocolate. And then go out with the other kids of the neighborhood for a local Easter egg hunt. But here in Russia, there is no Easter bunny, no Easter baskets, or Easter egg hunts. Something that is the same is that people here in Russia also love to decorate Easter eggs. And there are a few ways of doing this. One is more of a traditional way. You start with taking some onion skins and boiling them for about 20 minutes. And once it's cooled off, just take some already cooked eggs and put them inside the water. Let them sit in there for about 30 minutes. The longer you let them sit, the darker that they'll become. And then after 30 minutes, take them out and didn't come out very dark, but it's my first time trying it. Next year I'll have to try it with redder onions. And then just take them out and let them dry. Another popular way to decorate eggs here in Russia is to use these little plastic decorations that you can buy in stores. To use it, you just take the decoration and an already cooked egg, Wrap it around the egg. Put on a spoon and put it into some really hot water. Once it's in the water, the wrapper will wrap around the egg. And it makes a really pretty decoration. Now that my eggs are all decorated, there is one thing that Russians do before they eat their Easter eggs. They will play a game where two people will take an egg each and they'll take them and hit them together and whoever's egg is cracked is the loser and will have to eat their egg. And of course you can't celebrate Easter here in Russia without Easter cake called Kulich in Russian. Kulich is a tall cake, and it has icing on top with sprinkles. Many people will bake them at home, or if you can't bake them, you can just buy them in just about any other stores. I, of course, bought mine. And this is what it looks like without the wrapper. Let's give it a bite. Of course, with the frosting. Mm. Kind of dry. No, not a big fan of it. So what do you think about Easter here in Russia? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you like it, and make sure to subscribe to catch more videos about life here in Siberia. So until next time, peace out Mother Russia.